Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today is Wednesday, no Thursday. These vlogs have been like all kind of over the place. I have not done an actual like full on week or like more than like two, three days in a really long time. <laughs> so forgive me for that. I am trying to make it through, girl. I'm trying to make it. Oh, I'm sitting here looking for these pictures. So um, I shared with you guys that for Christmas this year, I got my kids in their stockings I like wrapped it up I wrapped it up in everything but what I did was I printed out a bunch of pictures and I gave them each an envelope and then I put 2023 year in review so every time they just want to like go look like how was 2023 or like just look at pictures and like things that they've done and stuff like that and memories they have this envelope to go to so they really loved it by the way they were like oh my gosh like I wish that this was something that you would have done since we were young and I was like I know that would have been so cool to have like a big stack but I was like for sure know that I'm going to be doing this every single year like this is going to be a new yearly tradition so um honestly they don't really come out that great truth be told I'm not gonna lie they don't come out that great um from printing them from the phone which I, I found to be so crazy but um I'll go through hold on someone just pulled up next to me so I'm gonna wait to show y'all but um I have time to waste because I have to donate these clothes it's currently only 909 and I'm like near the place I need to go to donate these because I donate it to the women's shelter and I don't want to donate it to Goodwill or anything so I'm gonna wait until 10 which means I have like four more than 45 minutes to wait but um I'm like waiting for this person because I want to show y'all some of these pictures but they literally loved the idea so I have pictures where if it's both of us I will pr I print it out two and if it's just them, then they just get, you know, so Contrell doesn't have, like, just pictures of, like, me and Ava and stuff like that. But they freaking loved the idea. So here's one of Contrell. This was, like, a Snapchat filter. Um, I don't want to show that one. Some of, some of this stuff, like, Ava's wearing, like, a hoodie of the school and everything. By the way, she had um, cheerleading trouts yesterday. She was like, I did horrible. And I was like, you probably didn't. But she was like, I didn't know. She doesn't know the first thing. I mean, she knows the first thing about cheerleading, but this is like all new territory for her. So she's been practicing and, you know, she didn't really know the cheers and she killed it last night as far as like making sure she knew the cheers. She learned them really quickly. So she's going into they had, the tryouts are three days long. She's going into this day, like feeling like super confident, like I've got this. Um, but here's one of me and Contrell and Santa because Ava wasn't, I think she was at a game or something. Me and Contrell, me and Ava, the three of us. I love this idea. So here's what happened. The reason why I have these is because of the fact that for some reason I missed all of these in my, when I was doing them. I don't know because this was all before. This was like Thanksgiving weekend when my parents were here. And there's Ava. And then here's a family picture of me and my parents and the kids. So they each get one of those and then control. And then him with his friend. This girl, this right here. This is my inspiration for this week. When I don't feel like working, when I feel like things are getting too hard, when I feel like Oh, I'm just going to take the day off and oh, I'm just going to do this and I keep making excuses. I am going to have this plastered like I already have it on my bathroom mirror. And every time I'm washing my face, brushing my teeth, I will stare at this and just feel what it it's going to feel like when I actually am like that is the picture that I have because I freaking purchased the vehicle. You know what I mean? So I'm putting this everywhere. I'm putting this um, I already have it in the bathroom. I'm going to put it in my journal. I'm going to put it by my desk. Like, I'm just going to put it everywhere. Like the, the time, uh, ugh, ugh. the places where I spend the most time, that's where it's going. So I printed out four of them. So four copies of it. And girl, what I tell you, I want an Escalade so bad. I can freaking taste it. I want an Escalade so 
freaking bad. If y'all have been here for a while, you know I've been talking about this damn car since... It's been on my vision board since... I left my ex and I did my very first vision board, which I think is like 2017, 2018. I wanted an Escalade before that. Um, I printed this out because I have pictures Well, I gave it, I printed it out for like the kids too, but I also printed this one out for me because I have pictures of me thin. I do not, however, have pictures of me at this weight. So I found a picture that I don't necessarily love the way that I look and I'm going to put it in my journal. So, and it's going to be in the journal where like my little toolbox, I don't know if I, I I'm sure I told you guys about my toolbox for like my fixing my relationship with food and not over, not emotionally eating and not binge eating. I have this toolbox and I have this journal and I have like all these pictures and quotes and all this kind of stuff. That's where that's going. So like if I want to eat, I'm going to have to look at that picture. I'm going to have to read my why because I actually wrote down a legit like why I want to lose weight and I also have like motivational quotes I have all kinds of stuff in there so I might do a video all about it but here's us Christmas that was Christmas Eve um, in our pajamas this is so cute excuse me I love this picture of us oh my gosh so cute and then Ava being Ava we, we mess around all the time <laughs> She was like getting in my way and I'm like, oh, get out of my way. And then this is us being like, girl. <laughs> and then how beautiful is she? <sighs> my kids are so freaking like gorgeous and handsome. I love them. Uh, this was her like getting in my picture, sitting here trying to take a picture. More pictures of us. A picture of me and the kids and my parents. It tastes of buffalo. Can trail it taste of buffalo? Ava, I couldn't get a picture of her. This is all of us. This is Control making pasta on Christmas Eve. This is Ava making cookies. So that was the only thing too. Now that was actually Christmas Day. I was so sick I couldn't even like partake in the baking cookies and decorating and all that stuff, which was like really sad. Um, I just wasn't feeling it this year. So hopefully we can make up for it next year. I did the best I can and with what I did, I did a really good job, so I'm not trying to say that I didn't do good or whatever, but um, yeah, so that's that. Hey girl, hey, happy Friday. I wanted to show you guys something. Um, so I discovered this the other day because um, y'all know like I'm like, 2024 is gonna be my year. Like I am losing weight this year, no if, ands, or buts about it. So I'm like setting my house up for success and all this stuff, right? So, y'all know I love me a good chip, okay? <clears throat> so I told myself, I was like, if I could figure out how to make chips in my home and make them enjoyable, I will have cracked the code. I mean, obviously, chips aren't my only thing. But listen, listen here. Got this mandolin, okay? You definitely want to make your chips or your potatoes like super 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 thin i have also heard that you can use the canned potatoes uh the their white potatoes that you can find in a can i don't know i think those might be a little thicker i don't think those come this thin but if you don't have a mandolin then you can try that it might work it might not i don't know but i'm about to show you how to make these so i just did it i was like Sorry, I should have did this process. Hold on, let me go wash this. I should have did this process with you guys, but I totally forgot. And then I was like, wait, I should totally tell everyone and show everyone how I'm making chips. So I have this, okay? So this is like a little glove that helps you to not cut yourself. And this is something, if you don't have that little thing, you know, that you're gonna need, because this is very, very sharp, all right? You're gonna need this. So I will link these both down below. You can get them from Amazon. And then I am back into weighing my food again because, and measuring, because my nutritionist and I thought that it would be best for me to kind of figure out portion sizes a little bit better. So that's 4.05 ounces. So I'm gonna put that down, so hold on. So this is gonna be 85 calories. Do you see how many potatoes I'm about, I, I have? This is a lot of chips. I need to weigh this again. Are you sure this one is sick? Because this is a lot of chips. Yeah, 
4.05. It's, it's, it's going between 4 and 4.05. We'll just stick with, let's do 4. 4 ounces of potato, 84 calories. So what you want to do is cut them super, super paper thin. And then you want to lay them out on paper towel or you want to lay them out on something like a towel because you want to dry these off. Uh, the secret is I have found some people will say that you have to put them in the soak them. I did them both ways and I felt like they both came out the same way. I really do think that the secret is one, cutting them very thin and two, making sure that you pat them dry. Also, when it comes to air fryers, y'all know I have this air fryer right here and I also have this air fryer right here, which is kind of like a more like a toaster oven kind of deal. And again, when it comes to things like cooking potatoes, roasted potatoes, French fries, because I, I I trust me, I'm 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 experimenting because I wasn't playing when I said this is my fucking year. This is my year, okay? I'm not letting anything get in the way. So I am going to find swaps of my favorite foods. So I have been making uh what are, what are they called? <laughs> uh fries chips roasted potatoes all the things and they do not work as well in this as they do in one of these kind of basket type air fryers so all you have to do is pat these babies dry okay and then you can put them in a what's it called i'm gonna take this out you can put them in a bowl and do all that stuff, but I just like to take some olive oil spray and there's not a whole ton. So whether that add calories or not, I don't know, but I seriously doubt that it did. And then I'm just gonna season it. And then you can, then what I will do is pick it up and put it on the opposite side, like so. Hold on, you can't see. And I just layer it in a single layer onto my air, into my air fryer basket, and 375 degrees for about 10, 15, 20 minutes, just depending on your air fryer, you will literally have potato chips, and they taste amazing. I made some for my son. He was like, can you make me more? <laughs> I made some for myself. I can't remember if Ava had any or not. But the whole thing is, is I was like, did I seriously just find a lower calorie option for one of my favorite foods? Like, are you kidding me? And then I got to thinking, you could flavor this with ranch dressing or the powder, the ranch powder mix and make ranch. You can get you one of those mandolins that have like make it, make them into wavy chips. You could you know, get salt and vinegar flavoring. You could make your own chips and not just, you know, salt chips. You can do all different kinds. So now that that's the flip side, I just go ahead and I spray them lightly with my olive oil spray. And then I will also salt these. And I'm just gonna throw these babies in the air fryer. Now I will say also, I wasn't able to get them like perfectly crisp, like every single one of them all the way around but i'm telling you i am such a huge fan so i'm going to turn that down to three this is 380 we're going to start at 15 minutes but like every five minutes you definitely want to come and check and shake the basket and all of the things so i am so excited for that today i was like for lunch i want to do a um like a sandwich and have some chips on the side. But I had decided to get all of the tempting foods out of my house. And what my reasoning behind doing this was not because like I'm telling myself I can't have it because I absolutely can have anything that I want. However, if I'm going to have it, A, as soon as I start craving it, I'm going to say no, because there is such a thing as emotional cravings. And I want to make sure that my body 
is craving it and not my mind because there's a whole thing head hunger and actual physical hunger and then also like the actual physical satisfaction so the whole thing is not depriving yourself but then also I had to learn I was telling my therapist not my therapist but both my therapist and my nutritionist I can't eat all of my favorite things all in the same day like I'm gonna have to make choices and not just for weight loss but for health reasons as well so my thing is if I want something as soon as I get the craving mostly I'm gonna say no I'm gonna tell myself no because that's another thing I'm gonna have to get used to telling myself no and not in a way like no you can't have it but like in a gentle kind no we're gonna feed let's choose let's make this choice instead so it's like all about like empowering yourself and like we have choices and you can go have that but let's let's have this instead and our body is going to thank us so much more so like just speaking differently to myself really changing and switching up the words in which i'm using so i told her if i go like a day or two i told myself no gently and kindly um and i'm still craving the hell out of it i will either and here's the thing too as i'm telling myself no i will try to make the substitutions especially like if it's a potato like it's a potato that has loaded with vitamins and minerals okay so that's good for me but on the flip side if i want something like a piece of cake or something i can try to either say no and just move along and not try to satisfy that craving or I can try to satisfy the craving in a way where it's the cake, I'll make it as a mud cake, mug cake, and I'll do like a lower calorie, lower fat, all of the things, and see if that satisfies the craving. But if it doesn't, then girl, I'm gonna have to work for it. I'm gonna have to get up out of my apartment and go to the store or the restaurant, whatever it is I'm craving, and go get it. I will not be bringing the food into my house because here's the thing and this is what I told my ther my nutritionist if the food is here and I have the chips in my home and I have whatever it is that I'm like you know okay with until I start feeling emotions I don't want to feel then I have my toolbox but I'm gonna be honest with you if I have easy access to the food that I'm craving at that moment why would I want to do the work I mean essentially there's a long list of reasons why but in that moment I know me and I don't care about anything I don't care about my why I don't care about any of this stuff. and if it's easy access for me in my home hmm, yeah I'm nine times out of ten I'm gonna go for the food so by removing it which was my choice which is empowering it's allowing me to say okay I don't have the food so we're gonna have to do the work here's your toolbox figure out what you need to do to identify the emotion go read your why go read some positive affirmations go read the reasons why this is so important to you and why you want to get healthy and then from there figure something out do something to keep your mind distracted distract yourself do something different change the environment whatever I need to do um, because a lot of times it's not because I'm hungry. I'm not eating because I'm hungry. I'm eating because I don't want to feel the uncomfortableness of whatever's going on. So, anyways, I am so freaking excited. Did that charge already, really? I feel like this charger is... Hmm. Anyways, I think it's been five minutes, so I'm going to go and do a little shaky shake. I'm also going to try out a cabbage recipe. So actually, while that's going, all I'm going to do, I'm not going to film this because I actually need to um, I actually need to listen to something. So all I'm going to do is take this cabbage and girl, I don't even know how to I don't know. Do you like peel these? I have never, never worked with a raw cabbage before. But I am going to cook some cabbage in my, like, saute some cabbage. What am I doing? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up as small as I can. 
And then I'm gonna put it in my salad spinner so that way I can clean it. Girl, how do we cut this? I don't know, but I'll see y'all in a few. And just like that, you guys, I have chips. I have 85 calories worth of chips. Like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna let these cool off a little bit and I'm gonna start on this cabbage because I have already, I don't remember, whatever, whatever I told y'all as far as like how long I was putting them in there for, that's how long they took at 385 degrees. But like I said, everyone's air fryer is gonna be different. I will link this air fryer down below because I absolutely love it and it's absolutely beautiful. Look, I have it in this cup and it's like literally overflowing. You want to talk about high volume eating and especially eating of your favorite foods? Now do they, ow, <laughs> do they taste exactly like Lay's? No, they do not. But are they going to satisfy any chip craving that I have? Yeah, absolutely. So anyways, let's start making this cabbage. This recipe calls for a large saute pan. I cut the cabbage down already. So it's in my little salad spinner. I also spun out all of the water, which there was a lot of. So if there's something that you, that I would say like, you probably don't think you need, but like would be really beneficial, it's a salad spinner, especially for veggies and stuff like that. And salads, love it. So I'm gonna take one tablespoon of butter down into, I'm gonna put this on like medium, down into my pan like so. And then we're also going to do one tablespoon of, I don't have olive oil, so I'm just gonna do, actually I think I did, yeah I do have olive oil. Let's just go with olive oil. So one tablespoon of olive oil and let's just let the pan get hot the oil to heat up and for the butter to melt as well y'all i am listening to this oh my gosh like i was like i wasn't wanting to cry today <laughs> this is so i'm only 13 minutes in it is so touching but also so sad, but just so beautiful. This is Chris Terrell. I follow him on TikTok. He is amazing. He's lost 125 pounds. And he's currently doing like this like webinar thing, or I don't even, I guess that's what you call it. But it's like three days of like a workshop to kind of teach you like his tricks and how he not only lost 125 pounds, but also kept it off for like I think it's been like two, three, maybe five. I can't remember. It's been a really long time. He's kept it off. And like, we all know like that's the thing. It's not losing the weight. It's keeping it off. So he said our homework for tonight before our next little um, webinar tonight is to listen to this. And oh my gosh, his story is just beautiful. Okay. So anyways, the butter has uh, melted and I'm just going to add in the cabbage. Now, on the instructions, she said to kind of leave the cabbage alone. She said you can, if you want to, like move it every couple of minutes. But she said that actually leaving it sit is going to allow the cabbage to kind of get, what did she say specifically? Let me look at the recipe. Saute for 10 to 15 minutes. It says stirring occasionally until the cabbage is tender and begins to brown. Don't feel like you need to constantly stir it, leaving the cabbage undisturbed for a minute or two as you go. Oh, <laughs> girl, I was about to leave it completely undisturbed. Um, a minute or two as you go is what will allow it to develop brown caramelized bits. And then she says, AKA flavor. We're gonna do this until it all cooks and then there's another step. So I'm gonna go back to listening to his podcast. And um, I'm going to just, yeah, <laughs> show you what it looks like because we have a neck, we have another step after this is done. Excuse all of the kitchen sounds going on, but listen. I decided that I wouldn't eat unless I was hungry or unless it was a meal time. 
that's it. I wasn't going to worry about what I ate, just only going to eat if I was hungry. I gave myself permission to say no to food if I wasn't hungry, no matter who asked me to eat. I decided in that on, moment that no yeah. one controlled what I put in my mouth but me. It's gonna bring me to tears. That is so freaking empowering. Y'all need to go follow this man. He is absolutely incredible. His mindset around weight loss and it being a lifestyle change and not just a let's lose weight. Like we really truly have to change who we are as people and that is the hardest part about losing weight because essentially it's not the weight loss. We all know how to lose weight. We all know how to lose weight. We're very good at losing weight. Like he says, we're not good <clears throat> at not being able to gain it back. I'm telling y'all, go follow him on TikTok. Go follow his podcast. I'm definitely going to start. This is his hundredth episode. This is so like, I am so into this podcast. I have never been into a podcast the way that I've been into this one. So highly recommend it. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the cabbage and I need to start eating cause I'm hungry. Um, so I'll probably wait until I'm done eating. No, we gotta try the chips together. So give me a second. Okay, so this is done. I took it off the heat. It's been sitting there for a while. And girl, I don't know if I have half of a tablespoon. Now, I'll just have to eyeball it. Okay, so you want to go ahead and flavor it. So I put no salt in this at all, so I'm going to go ahead and put salt. And then some pepper. And then she said, do not skip this. Now, she says to use apple cider vinegar. This is what I have, so I'm just going to use it. But she did say, like, don't skip out on the vinegar because this is what gives it the, the flavor that's, like, amazing. I don't know. But it says half of a tablespoon. So, do that, pour that, and then mix it all around. And then I'm gonna plate this up on my plate, and I'm gonna taste test it over, over at the counter where I'm gonna eat. And um, I'm also gonna taste test taste test the chips they don't look the prettiest but when i tell you listen to this crunch and if you're a dip girly get you some greek yogurt and put some either french onion dip mix in there or ranch dressing mix or you could do like i have a homemade ranch dressing in there right now and that's what when i made these that's what i dipped it in mm. When I tell you, I really genuinely do. No, I will not miss chips. This is 85 calories. One bag of chips like this is 160 calories. I think it's like 10 grams of fat, 85 calories. Now, obviously I didn't, the oil that I put on there did add some calories. I'm not sure how many. but it's definitely not a whole ton. So the chips are freaking incredible. Let's try the cabbage real quick. Mmm. Oh no. Doesn't cabbage make you really bloated? This is good. Mm. I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna keep listening to this podcast. I don't know if I'll see you guys today. I have a lot of, as you can tell, laundry's going. I'm gonna do some work and some editing of some stuff for TikTok and here. So yeah, I'm gonna be working probably the rest of the evening. I don't know, I don't have anything planned. Tonight I'm doing the podcast or the webinar. So I'll probably show you guys a little bit of that. And yeah, but definitely make the chips. I will put the recipe to the cabbage down below. When I tell you, excuse the stupid lines from the stupid, but when I tell you, I am so, I get so annoyed by the sun and the lines this time of year with the blinds. It is so annoying. Anyways, don't look at my mess back there. It's from last night and it's still going to continue. Anyways, 
that freaking podcast was the best podcast I have. I'm not a podcast girly. Like, I'm like, mm, whatever. Like, I'll try to listen to them. I'm just like, mm, whatever. I saved that podcast. I commented on that podcast. And I'm telling you guys, if you want to lose weight, you need to listen to this man's podcast. The episode is episode 100, Stop Gaining Weight. His name is Chris Terrell, and it's called the Chris Terrell Podcast. I'll see if I can um, link it or whatever. I'm listening to it on Spotify, but holy, the amount of emotions that I experienced listening to that. That was an hour and 20 minutes, and it went by so fast because it was so entertaining. There were so many aha moments for me, light bulb moments, so much like encouragement and hope and like heartbreaking like heartbreak because you know what it feels like to be there and he was there but he's on the other side and he's teaching you how to get to the other side that was amazing it was freaking amazing by the way my memory card it was full so I wasn't able to like fully finish but basically what he was talking about was like his code like he figured out the code on how to be obese and so he was talking about all these different things and then he said eventually I'll even begin to train my mind to see myself differently in mirrors I will not see how big I truly am when I tell you that was a that was an aha light bulb jaw dropping moment for me because it was like that 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 truth that you needed to hear it was like the what what it, what is the expression I'm trying to to use here the proper expression I don't know but basically you're lying to yourself when you look in the mirror and you think that you're smaller than you are because you don't want to come to terms with what you've done to yourself. I've been there, still there. Like you catch moments and you're like, oh, and then other times it's just like, oh, and like you in, in videos or in, in pictures, you pose in a way to make yourself look smaller, truly lying to yourself and not allowing yourself to see how big you truly are. Like, just freaking mind-blowing and then when he said I'm gonna say no to food if I'm not hungry no matter who asked me to eat no one controlled what I put in my mouth but me that those two things are so freaking powerful powerful and basically this podcast is not about losing the weight he talks about how losing he talks about this a lot in his tiktok videos like it's not about losing the weight. We all know how to lose weight. It's about maintaining that weight. It's about finding something that is sustainable for a lifetime. Wow. I'm blown away. Like, I want to I wanna listen to it again. I've got to get to work, so I can't really listen to it now. But I will listen to that. Whenever I need inspiration, I saved it. Like, I'm not big on podcasts, but this one... I'm a fan. I will be listening to his podcast every single day. Not specifically that episode, but like I'm going to start listening to all of his all of his episodes. He also talked about studying people who are thin and never had a problem with weight and how they're different and how they regulate their emotions. Oh, I can't wait for this webinar thing tonight because I'm so excited because that was our homework from last night. So I cannot wait to see what he what we get into tonight. Oh, girl, it's going to be so good. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. I don't know when the last time is that I talked to y'all. Um, I think it was before. Girl, I don't know. It's been crazy so far. Hopefully, the camera doesn't fall. Um, so, y'all know I was supposed to have a date on Sunday. Dude, dude messages me. And he says, hey, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to reschedule. I have to go to town. And it's like unexpected or something like that. So I have to pack all day. So I was like, uh, so are you going out of town on Sunday? And he said, no. I want y'all to tell me how you would have reacted to this conversation and what he said. 
he said, no, I have to pack on Sunday. I have to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I leave on Thursday to go out of town. Excuse me, sir, what? <laughs> you are joking, right? So personally me, how I responded was I was like, at first I was like, dude, like I was wanting to say like, this is complete and utter bullshit, but I was like, Jill, no. We're gonna sit and think about this for a couple of hours. We're not gonna go to our immediate reaction because we're trying to change, you know? We're trying to be a better person. So I um, give it a couple of hours and I'm going back and forth. Like maybe, you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he really, I was like, well, who talking? I was like, maybe, maybe he does have, you know, something in this. Now. I was like, look, here's the deal. If he lived like 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and, and it was like a drive to meet where we were going to meet, which was just for coffee. So you can do a coffee date in and out 30 minutes, okay? He apparently lived, we apparently lived very close to each other, and where we were planning to meet was very close for him. It was also very close for me. So why can't you come meet me again for 30 minutes? You cannot take 30 minutes out of your day because all day long you're gonna be packing for a trip that you're not even leaving to go on until Thursday? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson with not talking or like not blocking dudes because what they will do, yeah. What they will do is if they say, or if you say something that they don't want to hear or like, they will, if you unmatch with them or they'll unmatch with you, yeah, if you unmatch with them, just like, oh, good luck, whatever, this isn't going to work. If you unmatch with them, they can then go back through all of the matches and match with you again and find you. But take the time. They have to take the time to do that to say some bullshit to you. So I was like, you know what? I learned my lesson from last time. I'm not letting that happen again. So I'm just going to wish him the best of luck, safe travels, and I'm gonna block his ass. So that's what I did. But let me know in the comments down below, what would you have done? Would you have, see here was my reasoning. Again, you live super close. You can't take 30 minutes, but also maybe, maybe, maybe Sunday really wasn't good for you now that you're leaving Thursday. So what about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Cause you work, but like you can't meet up for a coffee after work. Are you working all day, all night? Cause if so, then it's not going to work anyways. Cause I need to know that like, I'm going to see you. So, yeah, that's how that went. Now, I will say, I tried. Did I not? I tried. I was going to go meet this man. He canceled. He did not offer to reschedule. That was another reason why I was like, nah, because he didn't even offer. He said, let's just reschedule. He didn't pick out, like, I'm free this day, this day. No, he didn't give me any options. He just said we need to reschedule. So I was just like, you know what? No. Um, but because of all of that... I feel like I should be able to put a little star on my bingo January 2024 because I tried. I would have went on the date. So I'm obviously it's like still early in January. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I have this bingo card and it's really pushing me out of my comfort zone to go new places, do new things, meet people. Here's another thing I have on there. Make a friend. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of move that to like make more connections, um, because I have done that. Um, I haven't, I wouldn't necessarily call anyone a friend, but I have made connections. So that one, I feel like I'm going to kind of be able to like mark off too, but the whole go on a date, y'all, I'm trying. These dudes do not want to talk. Like they'll match with you. You'll start a conversation and they ghost just gone. Um, so it's like not lack of effort. And I was like, I feel like I could totally block that. It's done. It's completed. I tried. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I am headed to CVS. 
apparently, if you guys watched last week's vlog, you know, I was talking about like how my body has just been acting stupid and I shouldn't say that. My body hasn't been liking this new med. It's not even a new medication. It's just a new, it's the same medication, a new manufacturer. So I have called and called and called all last week because this one pharmacy was like, we'll try to order it. And then they ordered again and try to order again and it didn't come in. So then finally I talked to someone yesterday and they said, it's not coming in. I looked it up. They have completely stopped making this. They're not going to be making this in either the 150 or the 300. Cause I was like, well, let me just go up to the next milligram or whatever. So I was just like, well, Let's just stick with the one and just, our, my body's eventually going to get used to it, so we'll just stick with what I am what I have and I'll just really push through and work through what I'm going through and whatnot. So then I call the CVS that's closest to my house and I'm like, I just want to verify and make sure that when you fill this prescription, it's filled with this particular manufacturer. He said, we don't have that manufacturer. And I said, excuse me? He said, yeah, we've been having problems getting it in. So I broke down and I started crying after I got off the phone with him. I said, is there any CVS that's within like, I don't know, however many miles that you can pull up to see if they have that manufacturer and then maybe within, cause it's a three month prescription, maybe within the three months they'll have that. I swear to you, if I have to, after these three months, that's where I'm heading now, to a CVS that's like 30 minutes away just so I could get the right, the, the manufacturer that I currently have been taking, that my body is still kind of like, mm, we don't like this, but we're going to work with it because I know it's eventually going to get used to it. But uh, it's just so annoying because like in three months, if they're still like, oh, we can't get it, it's, they're no longer making it. But you know what? I'm done with this and I'm just going to either talk to my doctor about coming off of antidepressants, period, or try a whole nother but I'm so tired of like, cause my body does not like what it introduces, especially antidepressants. Like it takes me a minute. And some of y'all know that struggle. Some of y'all don't. Those of you that don't, you're so lucky. Um, because oh, it's been, hey Escalade, it's been crazy. Anyways, I don't really know. I'm going to film some content for TikTok when I get home. I also need to edit. So I don't know if I'll see you guys the rest of today. I don't know. But if not, have an amazing one. And what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday already. So I'm going to have to put my, I usually edit this vlog on Thursday. So it's probably not going to be that long yet again, but slowly but surely. That's big. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you a little haul, but before I do, I do not want to forget to tell you guys this. So this weekend, I could not put this book down. It was so good. It was called None of This is True by... Damn, I have to go look it up. Oh, my phone's right here. Lisa Jewell, I want to say. This is what the book looks like. My subscriber friend told me about this, and she actually told me, hey, you need to listen to the audiobook because the audiobook is kind of like a production. Like they have like noises and different voices for the actors or the, the characters, and it is so cool. So what I ended up doing was reading the book, most of it. And then on Sunday, I was like, ooh, I wanna go curl my hair. Speaking of, okay, I was trashing that thing. The Laduo, I will link it down below. I curled my hair on Sunday. Sunday. And it is now Wednesday and my hair still has curl to it. Wait, which this is how I like my hair to be. Y'all need that, like for real, for real. And I put nothing in my hair. What I did was I washed it, I conditioned it, I blow dried it and I put nothing in it. And these jokers still stayed. I don't know what I did the very first day when I was testing it out and I was like, these things didn't last. I don't know what I was, what I did. I don't know. Cause they didn't.
but lately I've been practicing and playing around with it for like the past three or so weeks and I can say holy crap if you have a problem with hard to curl hard to hold curl hair give it a try there is a learning curve but once you learn it girl impressed anyways back to the book uh, once I got to the end and I was like curling my hair, I was like, let me listen to it. And I personally don't like to listen to audiobooks because I just kind of was trying to focus on curling my hair. And then I was like, wait a minute, what? And and it was also like uh, they had British accents. And, and, and so like with their accent and then also the different language that they use, it was just like really confusing to me. So what I ended up doing towards the very, very, very end of the book, once I was done curling my hair, was I read while I also listened and it was the coolest experience. So I'm gonna tell you, if you don't like to just listen to audiobooks or if you like to listen to audiobooks, girl, get that. You have to get that. But if you usually like to read and don't like the audiobooks, try both of them in conjunction and let me know what you think. Like that was an experience and you don't have to buy these things, okay? If you have a library card or you go get a library card and you have a Kindle, uh, well actually you don't even need the actual Kindle. You can just download the Kindle app on your phone and go to the, the app is called Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. And it basically is going to, it's a, it's a website that links your library card to where you can borrow these books. So I borrowed the book and the audiobook, and luckily they both came to me at the same time. So that's an option too. What else was I telling you guys? Oh, these lashes, this glue. I just did a review on TikTok. I think I told you guys last week and I was like, mm, I don't know. These girlies be talking about it lasts forever. Girl, they weren't lying. They weren't lying. Like I took, they lasted for seven full days, okay? And then this morning I lost one here and I was like, mm, they're like really crusty anyways. Let's go ahead and take it off. So I'm on camera, right? If y'all want to see it, it's on TikTok. But I go on and I'm trying to pull these off right here. And I was like, no, y'all, they are stuck. Like I have never in my life had lash extensions or a glue for the lash extensions, even going to get them done professionally. I could just pull them jokers off and no, like my lashes didn't come with it or nothing. Like it was just like, I just pulled off. Like they were strip lashes. This chunk, girl, this glue, this glue is something else. I don't remember the name of it, but I will put it on the screen and I will link it down below because it is good. And let me tell you something. I love having lash extensions because it makes the time in the morning. Girl, when I go get my eyes, eyebrows microbladed and then I also have lash extension, it's gonna take me like two minutes to do my makeup because the longest thing now that takes, the longest thing in my makeup routine are my eyebrows and they're still all ugh, drives me nuts anyways i want to show you a haul real quick but i gotta go change my battery so give me a second i got like i had like 75 dollars in rewards so if you guys remember i at one time tried their trio jeans and i ended up taking them back because i was like i don't know that i love these but when i was watching back the footage of the haul i was like why did I take those back? Why? So when I had this, when I saw that I had this $75 rewards, I was like, cause these, these jeans are $110, okay. I was like, let me go ahead and just see, like, are they already on sale? Like, what's the deal? They were already on sale, okay. I also purchased two other things. One thing I cannot show you because it's for my mom, but it was, like huge sale. This shirt right here, Incubus shirt, $6.01. That's how much I paid for it. Yeah, $6.01. Are you kidding me? This was final sale. I tried it on. I'm like, thank God I like it. But it's kind of cutesy. It's definitely something like more casual, whatnot. So 
Anyways, they had sent me, cause I, so with the rewards and everything that was, was on sale with the trio jeans, I ended up spending $25 on them. I was like, oh, I just, that is amazing. I cannot believe I got them for so cheap. Like, I, I'm so excited to get them. They email me and they're like, oh, sorry, this has been, this is just taken off your order. And I was like, uh-uh, the hell it's not. And I was thinking in my head, it's because y'all don't want to give them to me for $25. And I still, I don't know, I can't say, I'm not in Torrid's headquarters, I have no idea. But tell me why, when I emailed them and said, hey, this was this is the order that I'm referring to, I got this and this and it said it was shipped and then I just got this random email saying that this can't be shipped and it was taken off my order, why? And so they respond and they're like, oh, it's out of stock, da 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 da. I said, then tell me why, if it's out of stock, is it showing that it's in stock on your website right now? And if I go to complete purchase, I can literally purchase these jeans right now. So then they email me back and they're like, oh, that's because a lot of times our website doesn't update. I'm like, well, I'm telling you right now and I still see that you still have not updated your website. So I'm going to assume that you have these jeans in stock. So I don't know what it was. I'm trying to be nice. I'm not being a bitchy or anything. But I was like firm, I like let her know. I want these jeans for $25. <laughs> Your website is reflecting that they are still in stock. Doesn't make sense to me. I'm not asking for you to give me a free pair of jeans. I'm just asking that you honor the discount and let me pay what I had originally paid for them because I'm thinking that there's a mistake or an error on your end somewhere because again, it shows on the website that they are fine, that they're in stock. So she's like, well, if you want the, the item reflected and you wanna pay the price, da, 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 call, like make an in on the phone, over the phone order. So I do that. I'm like, I, girl, I want these damn jeans. They looked so good on me. They felt so good. And the trio jeans are three sizes. The man ordered it. He was like, okay, great. It went through this and that. I paid my $25 for them. And the other day they said they're shipped. So I'm supposed to be getting them today. And I was just like, that's some bogus BS. So I'm here to encourage you. If you ever receive an email or something and there's something that's sketchy going on, don't be afraid to reach out to anyone, whether it be your phone company, your cable company, your internet company, Torrid, <laughs> clothing place, wherever. Cause I used to, when I was in my twenties, like I would be scared. Like I'd be like, oh, it's fine. And I would just let so much crap just happen without speaking up. And now I'm like the hell, uh-uh. If your website reflects that you have jeans in stock, then you're gonna give me these jeans because there is no reason why it should reflect. And you're telling me that it's not in stock. I don't know, maybe they use different warehouses and maybe like truly in the warehouse that they were trying to send it from, they didn't have it. I don't know how all that works, but you sure as hell gonna send it from another warehouse because your, your website so reflects that you have these in stock. So you're gonna send them to me and they did and I'm getting them today. So I'm really excited, but I got my Incubus shirt and yeah. So anyways, I need to go. I really have to edit a video to get up for tomorrow. Happy Thursday. So where did I last leave you guys off at yesterday? I cannot remember, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna show y'all a five minute makeup routine that I have been doing. As you guys see, I have my lash extensions, which I have been loving ever since I found this glue. And you guys don't necessarily need to get the actual lashes because the lashes, it's whatever. You know, you can get any lash you want. It's this glue. This glue is the absolute best that I have found so far. Like, for real, for real. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm definitely gonna finish these up but the next time I get lashes, I'm gonna probably just find some cheapy ones on Amazon. But I have been loving because one thing that I had told myself is like, yes, I feel so much better whenever I have makeup on and whenever I'm dressed. And a thing that I'm kind of like trying to make a habit, but I'm also not trying to create like a thousand habits all at once because you already know what happens when that 
<clears throat> when you start doing that is like you slowly but surely start falling off because it's like too much all at once. So eventually I'm going to make it a habit to where every single day after 12 o'clock I have to be dressed in something. No matter where I'm going, it does not matter. I have to be dressed in something that makes me feel good. That when I look at myself in the mirror, I like smile. I'm like, yeah, like I really like this outfit. Like as I'm filming, I'm like, oh yeah, that was like, I look really good in that. Um, instead of just wearing t-shirt. I'm wearing this t-shirt right now because I'm about to go on a walk. This is what I have been using, by the way. It's just the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I will link it down below. It's the medium glow. It adds color to my face, but also kind of smooths it out. But literally, like, my skin still looks like skin. Like, it doesn't cover a whole ton. It just gives you that little bit of coverage. Why am I shaking? I don't know, but I'm, like, literally shaking. Um, but it just kind of gives you that little bit of extra coverage and that little bit of extra color and kind of like smooths, which is exactly what I want. And this is my everyday makeup lately. And it literally takes me five minutes. It's going to take me a little bit longer because I'm showing you guys the products and I'm also talking. But this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the color Light, Pe Light Peach. And I've already done my skincare in my bathroom, so I don't need to do that. I also don't do primer because this this stuff I mean it's not meant to last all day um so I just let that sit while I just put this on my fingers and start start going to town putting it on I feel like I need a little bit more I usually don't put a whole ton on my forehead because I try to stay away from my forehead whenever I can um just because like this has a little bit, it doesn't have like a sheen to it. I do want to tell you guys that I am feeling better. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. I'm praying that this freaking stays because I've had days where I've been like, yes, I'm feeling better. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then like, I'll wake up the next day and be like, <laughs> and I can barely, get, it takes everything to like get up out of bed. Then put on some bronzer today. I'm just going to use... Uh, and I have this bag right here. My battery's about to die. But I just put everything in that bag and I just reach for the bag. And it's so, it's literally so freaking quick. So the, the thing, the longest thing I think I told you all this yesterday is my freaking brows. That's what takes me the longest. But I will just go throw on some bronzer real quick. What is this? By the way, I was practicing winged liner that's why i have winged liner on this brush everyone freaking needs this brush if you want to contour your nose like it's just so it makes it so freaking easy i will link it down below it's from shein it is so good because it just it just it does the work for you it's so good i freaking love it and i just think that little bit of extra color just and it gets this like nothing i have ever tried before and then this is the girl it's all Anastasia glow kit I'm like the words are all off Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and I use these two you can tell I use this one more or the most I think that one's called did I did I change these I don't know why do I feel so shaky right now I was about to go on a walk and like if I'm feeling like this I'm not gonna want to go I'm, I am determined to freaking finish this this year. I am determined. I really like this shade though, for real. Battery did in fact die. So now I'm going to take this. Y'all, I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And it was my favorite for years on end. And the last couple of things I got, like Brow Wizzes that I got, I had just noticed that I'm like going like this and I'm like where is the freaking color horrible color payoff it has absolutely been sucking so I just googled like what is a good drugstore skinny brow pencil and it pulled up with this as being one of the best and it is so good I'm on my second pencil already this is the Maybelline Express Brow I am filled with happiness and light. This pencil is really, really, really good. And I really, really, really like it. And it's nicely pigmented and it doesn't take a lot of pressure to do it. Like I was literally with the brow whiz, like going like, like really hard. 
and getting like next to no payoff at all. And I was just like, what the hell happened to these? Because these used to be really good and now they're just crappy. Unless I got a bad batch, but that happened with like two of them. So I can't imagine those two being, you know, if it was just one, that's one thing, but two, I don't know. Anyways, I am struggling, you guys, okay? I was on Tord's website. They have an InSync hoodie. And God, I want it so bad. Oh, I want it so bad. And I cannot stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I have Tord cash and I also have rewards and those two you can combine. I still have not spent, my parents gave me $100 <clears throat> in cash for my birthday, so I still haven't spent that. And I'm like, I could spend that cash. I can't stop thinking about it. I love hoodies. I have a Nirvana hoodie. You guys have seen it plenty of times. But yeah, I have that Nirvana hoodie and I wear it all the freaking time. If I had an InSync hoodie, I know I would wear that all the time too. And that's really it. Let's see how my hair is. Let's see if it's still wavy. I feel like my face doesn't look I want to like something's off maybe I should take the liner off last step is I will just throw on I love these love these love these they're the Mar maracuja tart I have repurchased these so many times I freaking love them and they the the lasting power sucks on these but like when they are on your lips they're just that easy go-to I would call it a lip balm like more of like a plumping lip balm that also has really pretty color to it. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. I got some more earrings. So I bought something from for my mom from Shein and I was like, let me go look at their heart earrings because I love these ones. And I wore them last week. However, where did they go? They were just so heavy. They're the hearts I showed y'all. Where are they? I don't know where they are right now, but they were hearts and you had this part and then you had this part. They were just really heavy and then they um, kind of weighed down my ear and they hurt. And so I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair real quick because it definitely needs to be brushed. I think I'm, I'm at the tail end, I feel, of these, these waves. Pretty soon it's gonna be just straight. I think today might be the day. I really need to put some dry shampoo in my hair today. I mean, I still will say like impressed with this. This is what it looks like, by the way. Le Duo Grande. Grande? Whatever. From the Lane? Lane? Long? I don't know. This thing? Damn. Incredible absolutely incredible anyways these are my heart hoops how cute are they they're so freaking cute and then i got these ones that look like this and they go on like this these ones oh my gosh they're so cute because they kind of give you the effect of what the other one how do i do this how do i show y'all you see, they kind of give you the effect of the other one, what I wanted the other ones, because it looks like this part is coming from back behind your ear, but it's just one earring. You see, it's just the one earring. So that is really cute. Oh my gosh, I love. Okay, like this is seriously the last, and the only reason why I bought these is because I was shopping for my mom's birthday on there, and I was just like, let me just look, cause I'm like a few more dollars, like it's fine. Um, so then there's these heart earrings, which has the little opening right there. These are really cute too. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? I think I'm gonna wear these ones today. Oh my gosh, I love them. Yeah, I'm totally wearing those today. So let me get this one and then this one. So this is kind of like the one you remember because it was looking like a bee. Um, only this is the back. This one I feel is even worse. But I wanted to get a smaller one because I wanted to see if that would help with the weight and stuff. Girl. So this is how it comes apart. It's this and it's this. And so you put it. 
I think this liner has to come off. I don't like it. Okay, this looks weird. Like, the thing is just dangling in the back. <laughs> yeah, this, this liner needs to come off. Like, I just can't. I can't. It's like throwing everything off. Okay, so I literally just made friends with one of y'all. Like, I'm not even kidding. I stopped what I was doing because I was, I was, me and her have been talking on Instagram. We've been like doing voice messages and stuff. And she's literally my friend. Like, if we lived in the same city, we would be like hanging out today. We, like, we have so much in common. I totally forgot I was vlogging. So this earring, it's not doing it for me. It's just not. It, it just kind of hangs there and then like as you have it on that's what it does so cute in theory um this was what the the one that I had was like though it was it only it was much larger and it was supposed to kind of have like this part of the heart is like behind your ear and like this is supposed to be coming uh, through above your ear in front of your ear and it's just supposed to look really cool and, and no. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye, guys.